Hello there, this is Michael. And hello, this is David. And we're going to be, be bringing you our first uh, video game podcast for MD Gaming. Uh, we'll figure out some kind of title. Probably just be MG MD Gaming Video Game Podcast, something like that. Uh, so this will be a little bit longer format, just uh, us talking about stuff video game related. And uh, this episode will probably, actually it is, it's going to be all Halo themed. And then future podcasts will probably spread it out. Not necessarily have it just one topic focused, but a more video game broad, broad news and stuff like that, our thoughts. But I thought, uh, you know, the first one, we love Halo so much, and still it's pretty early since uh, the Master Chief Collection came out. Why not do a Halo-themed podcast for our first one? So, and I kind of started the whole thing, so I guess I get to choose what kind of podcast we get to do. I, I Sure, I guess. Like, what would you have wanted? I mean, Halo is just... In our heads, constantly. Yeah, I mean, we're getting so many achievements, and it's... Uh, anyways. Alright, so, <laughs> without further ado, let's move on to our first topic. Um, we're going to be starting with our overall th thoughts, and kind of like just a broad review on Halo, the Master Chief Collection, in its current state. Now, we all know when it first came out, it, it was, was buggy. buggy. It was buggy, and the multiplayer didn't work. And 343 has been working hard to update it and fix it. And try to apologize to their customers. Which for... we'll talk about what they're trying to do for us later as being Halo fans. But, um, you know, a big well, problem for us... A big, a big, <laughs> we'll talk about it later. A big problem for us in the beginning was split screening because we'd be playing yes. together on the same Xbox. Sorry, we don't have enough money to buy two Xbox ones unless you bought your own. I mean... Um. Anyways, it kept freezing on us. Any any time we'd be like play the campaign, it froze on because us because there's the time. too much stuff going on, on the screen. So yeah, it's like... apparently it was too advanced. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, now the updates seem like it doesn't really freeze at all. I did get one freeze today when I was playing, but it wasn't a big deal. But yeah, so far it's, it seems like everything's running smoothly. I was playing uh, multiplayer last night, and it like I mean the longest time you'd wait for a match is like three minutes. Maybe five minutes at the most. I mean, that's still pretty long. It's not but long, it's... though. I mean, think about it in the spectrum of things. Like, waiting two hours to get one match or waiting five minutes max. Like, that's a max for me right now. Right now, it seems like it could be, like, minimum two minutes. I'm sorry you used to Call of Duty, which throws you into any <laughs> stupid match, even if it's laggy as, you know, all I'm heck. sorry. I don't like to wait, and I don't have a fancy phone to look up stuff while I... waiting. <laughs> yeah. Well... You know, it seems like Call of Duty will just throw you into any match, even if, like, it's completely lopsided one way or the other. Where Halo, it tries to, you know, start a match from scratch so you you get the whole game experience. That's just my opinion. I don't know about you. I mean, it could go either way, honestly. But, yeah, I think I like the the version, Halo version, better. because Halo ver get... uh, matchmaking? Matchmaking, yes. Over, like, Call of Duty? We're, we're talking about matchmaking, right? Yeah, so. we're talking about matchmaking, but I wasn't sure if you're talking about, like, Halo matchmaking over Call of Duty matchmaking that we were talking I, about. I mean, like, the grouping up together. Okay. That, that's, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, I like that better because you get a full team together at first, and then whenever somebody wants to quit and be a loser, whatever. That, that kind of sucks, you know? Once people quit out of a Halo match, you're kind of screwed at that point. Because there's Unless no... you're awesome like me, you can just take on the whole team Oh, by I yourself. have to tell you a story. Last night, I was playing oh, one bomb on Zanzibar. So we had to go assault into the base, right? Yes. And we were playing most of the match and starting to get down to like a minute left until we had to uh, switch sides. And a guy comes onto the mic and he's like, okay, we need to start working together. We need to move in as a team. So I'm like, okay, I'll talk with him. So I, I turn on my mic and I say, hey, I got invisibility. I'm going to move in. And then as soon as I said that, he starts mocking me like, oh, I got invisibility, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, great. He asked for help. And as soon as I start saying anything. Because you're being a noob. You're using invisibility. Okay, it was right there. I grabbed it. I was going to sneak. I was in my way sneaking in to grab the, um or plant the bomb. And he's like, you're invisible. So I'm like, oh, great. Okay, so I took out my mic. I stopped talking. I don't know. It just makes me mad that people will make fun of you, even though they ask for help. And as soon as we try to help them, they just make fun of you. I don't know. It just makes me mad. Don't abuse the mic, people. Uh, That's the lesson. I, we just need more of a, a community in Halo. and Now it's gotten to the point where it's either a bunch of whiny little kids like Call of Duty or a bunch of people who just want to make fun of each other and call each other noobs or other words. But we're trying to keep this more of a clean, PG, clean podcast. Clean version. So we won't mention any of the words, but you know what we're talking about. Okay. So 
So as far as the current condition of Master Chief Collection, you're satisfied, right? You're you, so far, yes. You think it's to the point where it should have been at launch? Well, yes. Okay. I mean, it should have been fine at launch, but yeah, it should have been fine at launch. But you know, did you hear about Assassin's Creed Unity and how buggy that is? Yes, I've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. So at least it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, we're always we're always somewhere. Um. Okay. <laughs> so we're satisfied. Um. Moving on, you know, let's talk about how 343 is going to be making up for their mistakes. So it dropped last Friday that they're going to be releasing Free of Charge Halo ODST in the spring, a remastered version, well, not a remastered version, but an updated version of yes. it to the Xbox One. Do you think that is a good... A good way to apologize to the fans? Yeah, is it a good way to apologize to us for not having the game we should have had at launch? I mean, originally a game would cost $60, and they're just giving this game for free. I'm not sure if they should have give, give away the ODST, or maybe something like Halo Reach. So you would have like had, rather have had Halo Reach over Halo ODST? I'm not sure. But, or um, would you I'm have rather giving, had both I'm, of them? May, uh, that's maybe maybe that's a little pushing it. Yeah, like that's too much. I mean, they're apologizing by I giving mean, this us is a whole a, game. We waited for like three weeks for this more updated version of the Master Chief Collection. Collection. Yeah, it was about three weeks to a month where it got to a point where it was. So it's good. not like we have to wait so long for it to work. Yeah, and we could be we could still like play campaign and get some matches and matchmaking here and there, but yeah. Um. So overall, do you think ODST? And there's also like you know a week or two free of Xbox Live Gold. I think yeah, you get with it too. But do you think ODST was a good apology for? Yes, I think it was a good standard for them to do it. So. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really excited now because I loved a, 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 a ODST. I loved ODST. <laughs> Some of the achievements are kind of rough because you need four people for um like veteran or um legendary. For you, I don't veteran know. achievements. There's some achievements in Halo ODST, at least on the 360 version. That and was also tough you're, to get. And also, Fortnite. you're in an ODST, not a Spartan. Yeah, so, so you're you way die more quicker. vulnerable. <laughs> Anyways, I do. I I actually really like this. Reach would have been nice too, but you know, like David said, that's that might be pushing it. Uh, that, I mean, they sure they made a couple mistakes, but they're giving us a whole game for free, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, especially if achievements come with it because I definitely look forward to those. Uh, so definitely look forward to Halo ODST in the spring for the Master Chief Collection. I don't know if they put a specific date on it. I think they just said, like, Just early. spring in general. Spring. Okay. 2015. So it's probably going to be more like, you know, maybe June or something. <laughs> but, oh, well. At least we're getting a free game out of the Halo Master Chief Collection. Now, the beta is coming out in, what, a week? Exciting, yes. The Halo um, 5 beta. 29th? December? Yeah, it is yeah, the 29th. So I think the 25th is the Thursday. So that's I Christmas. Is uh, math, math, math? I think wow. Monday, right? <laughs> Monday. That's four days after Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. Um. So yeah, the Halo Five beta is coming out on Monday, so a week from today. It's 22nd. Um. What you've seen so far in the beta footage? I mean, I I, I assume you've seen some yes. footage. Um, how do you think Halo 5 is looking so far? Well, so far, it looks like there's a lot of good improvements, like, uh, being able to slide, power slide. Power slide, oh, power sliding. Um, the grabbing onto ledge, I'm not sure if that really works into Halo, but... You don't think that's part of what Halo is, is grabbing onto edges? Maybe not, but you never know. I, I might like it eventually. So you like the power sliding, you if you about the iffy about the grabbing the ledge. Is there power sliding? I don't know. If yeah, there, there is. There is okay. Like sliding on your knees. Yeah, because I know there's a cho- uh, charge melee. Like a, uh, um, I'm pretty sure there's power sliding. Okay, all right. If you say there's power sliding, I'll believe you. I'm not sure, honestly. There's but... also um, a new feature in the helmet that helps the aiming a little bit. It's, it's not necessarily like, a scope, but... It's not necessarily uh, aiming down sights, ADS. Um, some people don't like it because they feel like it's too Call of Duty-ish. Like, now Halo is becoming too much like Call of Duty. Now every weapon has like to have a scope. Like, every weapon has, has to have a scope. Where, you know, it doesn't seem like it's really ADS for any weapon. Like, the assault rifle seems like it slightly boosts accuracy. 
Um, but it's not S- necessary. Yeah, like, and as soon as you get hit by any weapon, you're going to get descoped anyways. And you always could scope in with DMRs, BRs, or snipers. So, I don't know. And even with the SMG, it does snap you into first person, like, aim down sight. But it doesn't even seem like it's still that accurate compared to just hip firing it. Yeah, because, I mean, the hip fire has a your aiming reticle, too, so... Yeah, you know, so overall, I don't think I'm going to be too upset about it. It's going to be something that you have to get used to, um, because now it's left trigger instead of, like, clicking in the thumbstick. At least the way we play, you know, you'd have to... I mean, you could probably change the controls a little bit. You could, but, you know, I don't think it's going to bug me too much. It's just going to have to be getting a little bit used to, and, you know, I'm really not that upset about it. So what other abilities? There's the butt slam... Butt slam? I call it butt slam. Well, there's um the like kind of thruster pack ability, so you can you can ground pound, which you call butt slamming. <laughs> yes, <laughs> which is it could go either way. Um, there's dashing. I, I thought we were keeping this clean, Michael. We are keeping. You're the one who said it was butt slamming. Okay, <laughs> that's not dirty at all. Come on. Well, okay, if you say it innocently enough, sure. So, um, ground pounding. Do you like ground pounding? I think I'm gonna um, like it. I, I could like it, yes. It might get annoying if people are trying to do it all the time, but what I've seen, it looks like it makes you vulnerable enough where you're definitely risking getting killed every time you do it. And it's not going to be such a large radius of killing. Like, uh, when you hit the ground, it's not going to be large enough where it'll instantly kill somebody who's, like, five feet away from you. Yeah. It seems also, like they're going to have to be, like, right under you. Yes, and also you'll probably have a long recovery time after using it. Yeah, so I think it'll be good. What about the dashing? I... We were playing Halo 4 the other day, and it, that has the thruster pack, and I love thruster pack, so I, I'm excited about this. I, I didn't use it much in Halo 4, but because I'm more of a jet pack person. I go up, not sideways. Well, there there is hovering when you use um, the left trigger ADS. Yeah. There is hovering, so do you, are but you going like that? But that's not jet packing, so... Okay, so you want jet pack. Yes, I want to fly up in the air. I don't think there... Uh, there might be boost jumping. Do you know if there... I don't think there's boost jumping. I know you can... um thruster pack to the side while you're in midair. I know you can do that. Yeah. So there's no jetpack. That's pack. not jetpack. So you're a little sad there's no jetpack. Yes. You like jetpack in Halo yes. 4? Yes. And lot, Halo Reach. A lot of people didn't like jetpack, okay? They thought it was too... You got you got into too many like little nooks and crannies up high where... Well, that's their problem. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so you're missing the jetpack, but thruster pack or the thruster dashing ability? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, and then there's also, I think, the shoulder charge, which is sprinting you, into okay. the shoulder. into like uh, I believe it just drains shields if you're from the front, but if you're from behind, it's like an assassination where it just it kills them. Um, that seems fine. But I did hear that that is a separate uh, button. That's the melee button, and it's not the thruster pack button. Like Those are two separate things. Okay, so you can switch them out. So when you're sprinting... You can sprint long enough to get the shoulder charge, which is hitting right bumper, kind of like in Destiny with the uh, with the Titan. You didn't never play the Titan, but you've seen Not, the Titan no. ability where they dash when they press right bumper. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Where if you get enough, if you get enough sprinting momentum, you can press the right bumper and you'll dash into like a shoulder charge. But then also B is your dashing ability, where you go left, right, forward, or back. Okay. So those are two separate buttons. How do you feel about that? Uh it's gonna be getting used to. Something to get used to. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, so sure about it, but I mean, it makes sense. The shoulder charge is linked to your melee, which is, you know, your melee button. So At least they're trying something new. It might make sense when you start playing it. I'm a little hesitant about it now, but we'll see about it. And then there's also... You can jump over walls, like... Uh... But you already talked about that, though, climbing, the platforming. No, like when you're running and then sprinting over like a short block of something. Isn't there that ability? I thought that's just climbing. I, I guess so. If, if you climbing, think you're I'm right. fine with. I mean, it's a little weird, but I don't I don't see the big deal with it. Why can't Spartans climb a wall? Um, they're carrying guns. You don't like it? I think it's fine. I said um, it's iffy. So you have a couple negatives. The only last thing I can really think of off the top of my head that's really new to the Halo 5 beta is unlimited sprint, but your shields will not recharge as long as you're sprinting. Oh, yeah. I forget about that. So I really like that. I think that's a good uh, playoff for sprinting. You can <laughs> sprint as much as you want, but if you're getting shot at, your shields aren't going to recharge. So I think that's a uh, that, that's a good balance. I think it's a good balance, a good cat, cat and mouse kind of game where you're going to be running, 
and then you realize, oh crap, my shields are still down, so you need to hide like in a little corners or something. And the guy sees that you stop running, so now he's gonna like you know kind of go slow around the corner. So I think that'll play out a lot of uh, interesting scenarios, and it it, it kind of stops the guy going crazy with the sword, you know, sprinting everywhere, just trying to slice everybody. That's yes. kind of me. I I, I like to slice and dice. The, the guy who's running around crazy with the sword or rockets or something. So I think that'll be interesting. I like it. So overall, you're just kind of mad about the platforming. Uh, am I? I said the almost iffy. I said, you, you said it, it could go either way. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it seems like you're. If there's a negative I, I just, to put out there, it would be the platforming for you. I mean, I I kind of miss just like barely missing jump. Like, oh come on! I I could have just made that little foot. My my only iffy will be a little bit of that ADS. It's just going to be getting used to pressing left trigger to aim down sight instead of clicking in for you know the DMR and stuff. And it'll be a little weird having an assault rifle scope, quote unquote, you know. But whatever. Uh, so that's coming out the 29th, and we'll definitely be playing. Hopefully, there's split screen so we can play at the same time. But no. and it ends like somewhere in January. Yeah, it's like three weeks or something. So there's plenty of time to play. All right, so moving on to what we're going to do is our favorite Halos. Now, we've split this up into campaign and multiplayer. Player. I can say that. Yes. And this can uh, vary from any Halo game. This like can be any Halo, Halo game. Halo Wars, yeah. Halo Spart- Spartan Ops, or mm-hmm. and all 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. So any Halo game is fair. We can do Reach. You, you heard them, Halo Wars, something like that. We're going to start with campaign. So, David, what is your favorite Halo campaign? Well, I feel as if Halo 4 is my favorite campaign. Okay. Because I didn't read any of the books, so I got, came in with a surprise at the ending where spoilers were alert, so... Of, a, like, a two-year-old game. Pause so. if you want to. No, but if Cort- I didn't see Cortana dying, so... Well, actually, none of the whole book spoiled that. Oh, I didn't. I don't uh, know. When I asked see, you, I didn't you read, read the, the books. books. I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> the books, the, some of the Halo books are like Ghost of Onyx and stuff. Um, none of that pertains to the Halo Four story at all. So um, that shed a tear for me. A it did. Bit. Okay, so you weren't mad that they killed off Cortana. Essentially, quote unquote, you can't really kill a computer AI, but well, you yeah, know, but... killed it off. You get the point. So you weren't mad that Cortana is now I gone. I mean, you gotta have surprises in stories. Yeah. Otherwise, if all the heroes just survive, and that's boring. Yeah. Okay. I agree with you. I agree. Uh, they're they're saying like, oh, now Halo Five won't have Cortana or Sergeant Johnson or anything, so it's gonna be bland. But no, that's when you introduce new characters. Yeah. You gotta keep it uh, surprising and. Yeah. I mean, you can't. Like, yeah. Like David said, live people can't live all the time. Somebody, and, and especially enough. Well, Master Chief guy die. Game. Wait, what? What? <laughs> no. If Master Chief died, we riot. <laughs> He's the only one who cannot die. <laughs> so you said Halo 4 because it was surprising, and Cortana died, yes. which made you shed a tear. Did you think Master Chief talked too much during Halo 4? No, I I think it's right. Okay. I mean, his whole story is like... Deciding if he's a machine or human. So, yeah. Well, the, yeah, Halo 4 was all about that. So, obviously, he talked a little bit more than in the previous game. Yeah, so it's fine. You think it, was, it wasn't too much talking? No. Okay. I also went with Halo 4 as my favorite campaign. Halo CE, I thought there was too much malarkey going on. Too also, many... too much of the same sceneries. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is what was wrong <laughs> with Halo CE. It was still a fine game. It was a good introduction to Halo. But... Like David stated, a lot of the levels were just repeats of themselves. Like, yes. uh, like uh, you just like kept the going library. into this, the library was the same as like. Um, no, I meant like the library. Each floor is the same. Yeah, exact each thing. floor is the same thing. Two betrayals, you go into the same room over and over again, and, and assault into the control room. It's the same type of thing. Assault, except like assault, going for, for backwards and forwards. To the level. Yeah, assault in the, on the control room, you go into the complex, and like uh, the next level, you go out of the complex, something like that. And it's it's just so annoying, it's so annoying. But yeah, that's what was wrong but with Halo. But there's flood CD. in the when you're going backwards. Yeah. Oh, so much mix up. That was what was wrong with Halo C. Halo 2, I don't really have too much complaints with it. It was just some levels were kind of broken. You know, you could skip the outskirt level. You could skip the entire first part if you want every single time. Yeah. Uh, so, the Brutes were brutal to face against in that yeah, campaign. Yeah, but I think they're still fine. Like, at least on normal. Maybe on Legendary they're pretty rough, but I haven't played through yet. Halo 3 was fun, but it didn't have enough levels that were, like, really fun. 
Like, it had the arc, which was a really good level, I think. The ending to the last level, which is... The very last level, Halo? Yeah. That was a good one. It's really frustrating when you're trying to go for that achievement, that four-player achievement, where you have the Iron Skull on and you're driving them four ghosts. Oh, yeah. If you know what you're, we're talking about, that's a rough achievement. We still don't have it. Because we, we don't have it. friends. We don't have friends, and the people we tried it with were like, not that good. Yeah, and uh, Halo 4, I thought, was a good... You know, reintroduction of Master Chief. I mean, it was what four years? I think they said the yeah, sto- four the years. The storyline like was four years. months. Yeah, something like that. It was a good reintroduction to him. I think it introduced a really good new threat, which was not the Flood, but the Prometheans, because the Flood. Yeah, were get just, rid of the Flood. The I Flood mean. were enemies that just swarmed you constantly, which got kind of annoying after a while because that's all they did. Where the Prometheans were a little bit more, you know, smart. Yes. <laughs> um. And tough to fight against. Um, but also what you stated, you know, I wasn't mad that Cortana died. It's more sad kind of thing. And uh, I'm really looking to Halo, forward to Halo 5. Even though the Arbiter armor, I'm not really the most happy about. I didn't get a quite good look at it okay, because here, it was I'll, a dark screen. I'll pull, up, I'll pull it up on Google right now. All right, so that's his armor. Like that. He's got that huge headpiece. Okay, the helmet... So you can Google this up, just uh, Google search Halo 5 Arbiter cutscene, and you can see the cutscene where he has like this huge headpiece, which I don't know, I'm not really, I'm not behind that huge headpiece. If they shrunk it down, maybe, like, the back of the head, maybe. Maybe, but I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I'll I'll probably get used to it, like, at first I wasn't a big fan of the Halo 4 um, Master Chief armor, but I got used to it, I'm, I'm fine with it now. So I'll probably get used to it, but right now I'm not a big fan of it. Okay, moving on to our favorite multi multiplayer. Multiplayer. Man, we said multiplier again. Oh, you said that like two videos ago on the achievement guide. Yeah, <laughs> you just kept saying it over and over. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. David, oh, it's a tip what is video, your favorite maybe. multiplayer? Oh, multi plot. Oh, <laughs> just go, <laughs> just go. So, my favorite multiplayer yeah. is probably going to be Halo 3, because there's so much sh- shenanigans in that game. You can f- have so much fun just running into like bases and blowing yourself up. No abilities to help you out. Just Well, you did have um, the equipment, like trip Oh, mines yeah, those and... equipments were also fun to use. Like bubble shield? Like bubble shield or trip mines. Just throwing trip mines all over the place. <laughs> so, Anything else? Splattering people with mongooses. Mongoose. Yeah. You can do that in Halo 4 or Halo but Reach. Halo 3 just seemed more fun. Okay. <laughs> if it's just seemed more fun to you. I picked, again, Halo 4 um, because I think they fixed the armor issues that Halo Reach had. Like, armor lock. Everybody hated armor lock. Even though I wasn't that, that mad about armor lock. I, um, they they put in a good sprint functionality where it wasn't an armor upgrade. It was just, you know, everybody had sprint. Yes. And then you could kind of make a custom loadout. Loadouts were kind of iffy. I, I mean, I wasn't the biggest fan of having your own custom loadout. That's why I think Halo 5 would be great because everybody starts with the same loadout. But I think the other armor abilities like thruster pack and, uh, you know, like active camo. Active camo, I don't know. But, I mean, you could pick that as a, up as a power upgrade in Halo 3, right? Um, yeah, you could. Yes. Yeah, because I was talking about it earlier. <laughs> I don't know. I think they, they really refined the armor abilities, even though I know they're throwing it out for Halo 5, all to all thruster pack, essentially. I think they're fine. I love the Splazer, so it was either going to be Halo 3, 3 or above for me, because I, I love killing individuals with the Spartan laser. Like, seeing them across the map on, like, Valhalla or something, and then pulling out the laser and just getting that one person. Because I know it's a complete waste. But I love just killing one person with the Spartan laser. And I know I know you like all the heavy weapons from the Promethean. Oh, like the incineration cannon. I, I, amazing. The sticky oh, the binary, detonator. The binary. sticky na- detonator is so much fun just to stick it onto like a pathway and then hide in a corner and look at the little radar it gives you. <laughs> because you can see a little red dot come onto the screen. I'm like, oh, blow it up. I'll blow it up. And also like um, um, that armor ability... Uh, the duplicate where you can uh, throw a oh, hologram. You can throw out oh, a hologram yeah. of Duh. yourself. I love throwing that out around a corner see a guy try to go like beat it down or something, and then I go up and assassinate the guy. I love the DMR. Halo 3 didn't have the DMR, and that's my baby. Um, I'm sorry the BR loses to the DMR. 
DMR. I mean, Car- Carbine wins all, but I, I, I guess you can have your for opinion. You, for you, Carbine is life, right? <laughs> yes. For me, DMR is life. And, yeah, I think uh, the um, uh, the Saw. I love the Saw, too. The Saw was so much fun in Halo 4. I think Halo 4 had the best Was that the machine gun? The the LMG. The, L- yeah, the big okay. LMG. Um, I think Halo 4 had the best variety of weapons. Where I, although Halo 3 did have a good variety and it limited to just Halo, uh, human and covenant weapons, yeah, um, I still think you know the best for variety was still at Halo 4. But so you picked Halo 3, I picked Halo 4. Moving on to the next topic, I guess we'll just go into this. Isn't necessarily Halo related, but I'm sure we both have Halo in our top three. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I had to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> but we we are doing the top three games of the year. We probably won't do this is our first podcast, so we probably won't do another one before the year ends. This might be more of like a monthly thing, and it depends how popular it is. Because if like say fifty people watch it or listen to it, that would be good. But um, I mean that's pretty low standard. But <laughs> we only have like eighty six subscribers. I know, but still, <laughs> not everybody watches our let's plays, which I think they're decent. I think there's something worth watching. You know, all these popular channels. Try to make people laugh. And I watch some of these videos. I'm like, I'm not laughing. But then I still chuckle at ours. Even though not all of them are perfect. I agree. But, you know, I try. I try with them. Yeah. I feel uh, like they're acting or something. In like, some of the... Uh, it's like, all scripted. All their Let's Plays. <laughs> for for the popular channels? Yes. Okay. So we have legitimate <laughs> Let's Plays. The popular <laughs> channels are all faking it. They're all acting. They're professional actors. And we give you the real stuff here. <laughs> We need more subscribers. We're doing top three games. <laughs> I don't know how we got on that tangent. I don't now know. we're doing top three games of the year, starting with our number three. We only did t- top three because mainly we don't play a lot of games. We don't have money to go buy every game that releases. So we're doing it based on the games we played. Yes. And uh, we didn't have many games. <laughs> so <laughs> It's like five for the Xbox One and like five for the Wii U. Yeah. You, we have an Xbox One and a Wii U. No PS4. Get that garbage out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we just lost every subscriber we had. <laughs> um, so, starting with number three. What is your number three, David? My number three is actually Halo Master Chief Collection. No! No! <laughs> this was supposed to be higher, David. Okay, why I'm did you sorry. put that at number three? Uh, maybe because at launch there was so many glitches at the start. So that's why it dropped And also, like I've one. played most of those games already, so I knew what was expected of them. Okay. Sort of. Well, you never played Halo 2, so that was something new. I mean, yeah, and the multiplayer is big, and yeah, that's my number three. Okay. My number three, I'm still kind of choosing right now. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I had it down to GTA 5, the re-release, or Minecraft, the re-release. Let's, ha- let's have a live One. poll right now. What? <laughs> let's have a live poll right live now. Live poll, pick. I'm going to have to go with GTA the re-release because it's more of a new re-release like Minecraft has been out forever I still love playing it and I'll go back to it like once every once in a while to work on my world or something and you guys should check out our let's plays in Minecraft yeah yeah, definitely. hints you know, right there yeah you know, <laughs> click on those anyways uh, I'm going to go with GTA 5 because I have never played it before on the 360 version Brain is or PC or... or PC or any well no it just got released on PC actually the GTA 5. Sure, okay. Keep going. Um, but yeah, this was my first time playing through, and I, I like the uh, campaign. And so far, of the online, I like it. The only downside of the online, it seems like it takes forever to connect to it. And when you go from like playing in a the open world map version to like a specific game, like TDM or something, yes. it takes forever to connect to those, and I end up getting dropped a lot. So that's probably why I didn't make it higher on the list. But it seems like it still has a lot of potential. And I've had a lot of fun doing Jet Justice, which you should definitely check out that video because I'm not the best at flying. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, definitely check out the video to figure out what, what Jet Justice is. And uh, so that's why I mix number three on my list. So what is your number okay, two? I have num- a feeling I know what your number one is. Uh, no, you don't. But let's go with number okay, two. Okay, number two would have to be Hyrule Warriors. Okay, that's on the I have not Wii played U. this game. So you're going to well, have to explain why this is your number two. There's this is mostly because there's a lot of content in, in this game. Also, I like the Legend of Zelda, which mm-hmm. is mainly the focus of this game. This was uh made by a different creator, 
It wasn't made by Nintendo. It was made by I don't know. But um, <laughs> <laughs> quick, let's Google it. No, just keep basically going. you. Sh- there's so many characters you can choose from. There's like twenty of them. You pick one, and I mean you can button mash in this game. It's a hack and slash game where you can just go and kill your enemies. Like there's like hundreds of them, and but there is some strategy to this game where you can actually go in like harder difficulties and plan your routes and stuff. Okay. Capture bases. So this game can be tough. It's yeah, not it can, just all it can be slash. tough and there is some strategy to this game. Which can be fun. And there's a lot of loot to uh grab in this game. Oh, which loot. I still have is, be- is it better loot than Destiny? Yes. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> you can gr- grab there's different weapons you can get grab for different uh characters. You can level up people I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do, do in this game. Okay, so, good. And you. Okay, this is probably going to be your number one, but I put number two as Smash Brothers for the Wii U. I think, well, I put, you could probably explain more why it's your number one, but I'm just going to quickly name off, like, I think this was way better than what Brawl was, right? Yes, Brawl was, that was the, the number Wii third version. One. Yeah, that, that was, was the Wii. third one. I think now Smash Brothers has something to move on in the tournament realm besides just melee or whatever project m is i still don't know what project m is it's pretty much a balanced version of melee super smash brothers brawl it has like all the characters from i think it has all the characters in all the games oh okay so it's just a but it's like balanced out okay like the stats some more research but if you know what the tournament scene is and you know what project m is please explain it to us because i have no idea what it is. Anyways, I think this is a good way to advance past that and leave those Smash Brothers in the past because, you know, you get a new Street Fighter or a new Mortal Kombat, they tend to leave those in the past, you know, the previous yes. game. It's like, move on with your lives. I think this is good. And it has Charizard as a solo character, so I'm pretty pumped. But yeah, we've already been to one tournament with it, and maybe by the time we do our second podcast, we can talk about going to a second uh, tournament and talk about our experience. I mean, there. the next tournament we're going to is like in January 10th. Yeah, or it might move to later in the month, but that'll probably be around the time we'll do our second podcast. So yeah, I think all the characters all around are are pretty solid, except for maybe like Jigglypuff. I don't know. Other people who are better than me could probably kick my butt with Jigglypuff, but... um. Or Olimar or something like that. Or Olimar, yeah. Um, and I don't like how so many characters have counters, but still, it's still a great game. Eight-player Smash is fun. What I've played through the events, and I played like story like once, it was seemed fun. So, yeah, it seems like something I'll be playing a lot for training for tournaments, and yeah, that's why it's my number two. So let's move on to your number one, which is the same game I was just talking about. Right? Or you can go to your number one to okay. keep the surprise. <laughs> we'll keep the suspense going. So I'll move to my number one, which you already talked to on your number three, but it's Halo the Master Chief Collection. Sure, it had bugs in the beginning. Um, a lot of games this year had bugs when it fir- they first came out. So I'm not saying that's just an excuse for Halo to have bugs. It shouldn't have had bugs. But now it's fixed. We're getting an entire game for free as an apology, which I love. Um, we now just got Spartan Ops, so they're still updating it every week. The matchmaking is just getting better at this point. Because you have four games in it, you have four great multiplayers. I'm just going to kill myself. <laughs> I cannot do this. <laughs> multiplayers. Um, it has four great multiplayers games or matchmaking in, in it. So there's that. Um, plus, was it still 450 achievements that we're still just chipping away at? Which some of them are hard. But there's some that, like, take a while. They, they take a while to get. So, I mean, th- like, I'm still working at this game just getting achievements. I mean, I played a little bit of multiplayer, and I plan to go back and play a lot of that later, too. So there's still a lot of stuff for me. Like you said, with Hyrule Warriors, there's a lot of content. There's a lot of content here, and especially if you pick up the game now. Um, oh, sorry. If you do still need to pick up the game, you're not going to get uh, Halo 3 ODST. For yeah, because, because you, you had, had to play it. At a certain date. At a certain date. Or time. Uh, between a certain time frame from the beginning of the launch of Halo Master Chief Collection. But anyways, that is why it's my number one, and I love Halo. I'm a Halo fanboy. I'm, bi- I'm biased. We don't talk about PlayStation at all because that is... Um, why did you say that word? We're not I supposed know. to talk about it. I have to go and uh, <laughs> bathe in like holy water to become pure again. Jeez. <laughs> I can't believe we're talking about that other distributor uh, system so much. 
Yeah, get out of here. But okay, let's move on to your number one. Okay, my number one is wait for it. <laughs> Super Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers. The Wii U, not three D three DS version because I don't know. But yeah, Wii U, Wii U version is so much better. Um, Isn't it like really clean too? Like I feel like uh, like button inputs and everything is really crisp on that game. Yes, and and the online multiplayer is improved by so much. Yeah, it's really I good. Mean, I like it. Compare the Wii version. The Wii v- version was a clip show, basically. <laughs> yeah, because it, it lags so much. You like you you would get one frame every five seconds, kind of thing, right? Yeah, and the Wii wasn't much of like a online system to use. It was more like a family version where you'd get together people. But back to the Super Smash Brothers. Um, sure, like the solo ver- uh solo campaign thing wasn't like too extensive and too new. But they're they're trying new things in that game. Um, even like the events mode, that's difficult. The challenges, I'm still trying to get through them. I don't know about you guys, but they're some of them are pretty difficult. Like being solo, classic. I keep with, telling you, just use some of those hammers. You have a full stock of hammers. I know, but I'm waiting. Okay. <laughs> for what you have, you can see every challenge, can't you? Yes, but I don't know which ones I want to go for yet. <laughs> but uh, there's like one that's like. Beat classic with Marth by yourself on 9.0, which is the hardest, right? Which is no, you can skip that one too, but which I'm probably will, will skip. But the hardest one, I think, is no, like, no. I mean, like, what's the hardest difficulty? 9.0. Yeah, 9.0. Okay. It's it goes from 0.0 to 9.0. Okay. The multiplayer is great. Uh, getting to people together and with eight player smash. That's that is fun. great. It but I only wish there's more maps to choose from in a player smash. Yeah, it's a little a little limited. I kind of wish there's a couple more maps in general, even though the map selection is still fine. Yeah, I know they're later uh, bringing another stage in, but it's basically like the is Animal it Crossing DLC? one. Is it paid DLC? Uh, no, I think it's free? free. For everybody? Yeah. No matter what? Yeah. Because you said Mewtwo's free for you because you bought the like. I bought the 3D. Edition. 3 3s version. Okay, that's the reason why I get okay. 3. But um, they're bringing tournament mode What's into that? like the ones in like brawl and melee. You can make your own tournament. Oh, like a custom setting that will save, so we don't have to switch it every time. Maybe. And also, they're doing it for online purpose. Oh, so you that's can do awesome. it on, for online, so you can bring people together and have okay. your own little tournaments. Oh, online. that's cool. Because right now you just go one on one, and that's as close to a tournament style you're you're gonna get. Yeah, so it's like bracket style. Bracket style. So okay, can you like watch other games go on while you're waiting for your game to uh, start? Maybe I don't that, know. That would be really cool. It's not to s- describe that far, but because it's like getting there. Because some interesting Halo Five is doing, and I don't know if the beta is gonna do this, but they're gonna have a spectator mode that you can enter into, where you're not in the game. You 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 can just jump into games and spectate them for like MLG purposes. So you can like commentate or something if you're doing on Twitch or if this is an actual tournament. So broadcasters. Can, oh, so yeah, it's way more helpful. Like, so you're not stuck in one person's view. You can actually fly around the map and look at action. So if it's something like that for um online, where you can just you know oh, watch spe- a match go on. They have that already. You do? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. I didn't know about that. So that's pretty cool. I guess I'm gonna be. Do you know when that's coming out? It's gonna be late, late like later. spring or something. I, I don't know, but like when Mewtwo gets they sent out. they haven't announced like when they're gonna. Do you uh, know when Mewtwo's coming out? Mewtwo spring, spring. Okay, but he's gonna be a while. Yeah, everyone like Mewtwo. Like, isn't he kind of like like uh, Lucario? Lucario? Yeah, that's yeah. gonna say. That's what he's kind of like. Okay, because I remember him from was he in melee? Was he's he only in melee. He's only in melee. Okay, he's floaty kind of. Besides, I probably won't play Mewtwo. I'm, I'm a Charizard guy, so. Charizard and Mario. Dr. Add another Pokemon to the uh, Pokemon. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Okay, so that was your number one. I guess that will do it for us for this very first podcast. I hope people will listen to this. Please um, I'm listen. Gonna, yeah, please listen. I'm going to be posting this onto both our YouTube page. I'm going to try to figure out iTunes. I'm going to try to figure it out. Um, but I'm a smart guy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll get through, through this together. We'll get through it. If we all sing, hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Maybe it'll be on iTunes, and maybe people will find it. And if it is on iTunes, please try to rate this. Um, this is our first one, so we're trying our best. And we'll make it for free. I mean, yeah, we'll make so. it for free, obviously, because we want people to subscribe and like us. Yay! Please love us. Nobody else does. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is Michael signing off. And, and David. Yes. 
Uh, if you want to find us online, I am Shadow7474 on Xbox One. And, and Adorable uh, Knight for me. Yep. Um, and Xbox One. Yep. And, and for the Wii U, it's pretty much the same, except for you don't have a space. In the because they Knight. don't allow spaces. Yeah. So same thing. If you see us on Wii U, it's because we're playing Smash, right? Yes, of okay. course. <laughs> and uh, so thanks for listening, guys. And uh, we'll we'll talk later. Bye. Bye.